to Nigeria now, and the International Crisis Group is warning that clashes between cattle herders and farmers pose a huge security concern in the country. The organization says the internal conflict has claimed far more lives than that of the Boko Haram militant group. Nigeria's northern states have been hardest hit by the clashes. CG10's Kalechi Emekalam has more. The results of clashes between Fulani nomadic cattle herders and sedentary farmers. An estimated 200 killed in the worst attack recorded this year, but many more continue to be killed across Nigeria's middle belt. The attacks have also left properties destroyed and homes burnt to ashes. The International Crisis Group says more than 1,300 people have been killed in such communal clashes between January and June of 2018, six times more than the deaths recorded as a result of Boko Haram's insurgency in the period under review. The killings have been piling anger against President Mohamed Buhari, himself a Fulani man. He's being accused of lacking the political will to end the bloody clashes. There's the ECOWAS uh, 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 protocol on transhumans. The ECOWAS protocol um, gives the guidelines as to the movement of this cattle, the migration you know, across various states in, in West Africa. You know. So in some states, they don't have problem because they observe the, the rules as prescribed by ECOWAS and all that. I mean, even the cattle have certificates. You know, that they have to, to check and all that. And they, so in some countries, they have kept to, to some of these things. But here in Nigeria, once they come in, I mean, like they are free to do uh, whatever they like and so on. So that has been a major problem. Nigerians will be headed to the polls early next year, and killings in communal clashes is expected to feature prominently in campaigns. President Mohamed Buhari, a retired general, was elected in 2015 on account of being the most suited candidate to solve Nigeria's security problems. Almost four years on, he has not defeated Boko Haram as he promised, and killings by herdsmen is getting out of hand. And all that is stalking sentiments that could hurt his re-election ambitions. A lot of people are getting more and more hungry, you know, more and more aggrieved. And of course, um, dislike for the administration begins to heighten. And of course, uh, this has to, this may affect the elections. I mean, their own mindset towards the electoral, their candidacy and all that. The report recommends the prosecution of perpetrators of violence, disarmament of ethnic militia and local vigilantes, and the implementation of a wider livestock sector reform. President Buhari has rejected ethnic undertones in the killings. He blames the killings on outlaws in society. When he visited Plato State after more than 200 were killed there, he ordered his security chiefs to go after the perpetrators and ensure those found guilty are punished in public. But not much has happened since. Just over a dozen suspects have been arrested and the killings have persisted. Kilichi Emekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.